Hello, welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen and here is my daughter Rachel and she's helping me with the dishes that we were doing before we got our power back. So it was boiling water for, you know, washing them and also rinsing, which I put more in detail in yesterday's video, but I am super glad that we had got our power back this morning and so we can put this practice down for good or at least until the next one but uh, today I'm going to be showing you a recipe declutter as well as me taking back the house and getting it all set up again after the storm I never did get the refrigerator restocked so the refrigerator in the basement is on so you'll probably see that tomorrow I'm going to be going around the home and outside doing a multitude of different things to give you a variety tomorrow but today we're doing some cleaning so there's some cleaning motivation and also decluttering motivation if you have a couple of notebooks full of recipes like I do. So first I'm going to give you a little storm update outside and then we'll get right into the declutter and then the cleaning. This is a look at the backyard. Not too bad. Just some big branches down. Not bad at all. This is already melted and the roof is already melted. So that's wonderful. It's 60 degrees right now. This is out at the front, so I don't know exactly when this particular tree fell. We definitely slept through that. So then we just have branches. Over here is where I was raking last time I was raking. And then, let me bring you over here. Robin got a new chainsaw, and because the tree was across here, he cut all that up so that we could walk across. And this is the tree. And I want to show you something sad. There's the bird feeder with the camera, but it's still working. I am still getting footage. It's just sideways. So, and there's the stump. But my husband got an electric chainsaw, so now it's easier for him. It's still small, but it's good for small jobs. So you can see the rest of the tree is lying right here. More branches but it all feels way better than it did a couple days ago. And these two big trees were swaying big time and I was very nervous they were gonna fall on the house. You can see that the roof line is almost completely melted and the smaller roof over here is completely melted. So things are improving and we're getting lots of uh, melting. I have been, well, especially ever since I did the pantry, I've been wanting to get all of our recipes decluttered. This is something that my sister made for me. It's all of our family recipes. It's a little over full. So I might take a few out of here or put some in the side. Well, there were some in here anyway, but I might take a few more out and put them here. I love these because my sister, I mean, this must have taken her forever, but it's in my mother's own recipe, uh, in my mother's own handwriting. So that's very special to me. I need to go through these and start making them. Dinner casserole. It's, um, oh, funny. It's called dinner casserole, but it's really shepherd's pie. Some of these, it's like, I don't ever remember eating them. But anyway, see, I get distracted. I need to go through these because it's such a rich part of my heritage. And some, some stuff I didn't even realize, like my mother's homemade coleslaw. This is how everything looked because she'd have it on the counter and then it would get dirty and she would just put it right back in the recipe thing. And it's funny because, and of course their age, she was very much a... Um, perfectionist and she was super duper clean all the time but here is this is my grandmother's handwriting I need to show this to my daughter Rachel okay but then these are ones we've collected from the internet and so some were things that people were intending to make so this is the one it's got page protectors and it's where I want to have oh I do need to put it in a new notebook though maybe I'll get a bigger one but it's where I want to have the things that we do actually make and then I actually have this, which also has some of my mother's recipes in her handwriting. So maybe at some point I need to go photocopy these because this is my grandmother's handwriting. And so maybe I need to be doing some of these for my sisters or all of them. 
so they could add it to their notebooks. So special. I don't think we've done the five minute microwave cornbread ever here. And some were ones I, you know, got out or did because I wanted them for different diets I was on. Or, you know, there's probably some, uh, oh, chocolate wonder cake. There's probably some um, Weight Watcher type stuff in here. Not that that's a bad thing, but if I don't make it, it's not good. Oh, this is the, I do need to, and so then it will also remind me of ones I need to make, like this garden vegetable soup, yum. I feel like I'll just kind of talk us through this, but I'm gonna go through these first and just pull out ones I know we're probably not going to make. Um, like I can kind of recognize what my husband likes, like pupusas, that's definitely him. So anything Mexican or Central American definitely has to stay. Creamy crock pot chicken parmesan soup recipe. Yeah, that's got too many calories, I'm never making that. Uh, last minute chicken we do. And then I can move these ones that are in the folder, which is really an overflow, into the um, notebook. And this was like one I got from a double boiler I got. I don't even think I cut the double boiler. <laughs> I think I got rid of it. It was one a brand brought me. So chocolate chip mug cake is definitely going to get me. They make that. Strawberry cake is very popular here. Macarons. We've never mastered a macaron. Have you mastered the macaron? Rice pudding, or Mexican rice pudding. Arroz con leche, definitely we use that. Smoothies. This is a, see like we got two coffees and we kept both, why? I don't know. So, here's the directions to this fruit smoothie. See, my feeling is these all came from the internet. So you could go to the internet and get them again, but, I am in the minority. Edible cookie dough, that tres leches cookies, cupcakes rather, we need to keep that. Homemade apple butter, actually I did make that once, but I feel like it was me that, um, if I'm the one who printed it, then I can get rid of it. Apple crisp will keep, carne asada will keep. This was actually something Yvonne wanted to make this week. So I should put that out. Easy banana bread. See, I have a banana bread recipe in a cookbook, like why? Chicken and andouille jambalaya. We haven't made that in forever. Cajun shrimp Buddha bowl. I could probably get rid of that. Mexican cookies must keep. Must keep. And then you end up with a good good. good directions and you don't even know what it's for. Pumpkin cupcakes we can get rid of. Gingerbread house recipe, get rid of that. Do you print recipes? This is in Yvonne's handwriting, so we'll keep that. Mexican rice pudding, con leche, I already have one of those. Mascarpone substitute. Do you tend to print or do you look at your phone? I'd be interested to know. Soft oatmeal cookies. Nope. Strawberry cake from scratch. Definitely need that. Peanut butter and pumpkin dog treats. We've never made that. How to make macaroons. I already had a macaroon one. Chocolate mug cake we do. Vanilla mug cake. Chocolate fudge cake we can get rid of. <laughs> this was something for them for school. Get rid of that. So already we're doing good. Somebody's Bible verse in Spanish. Get rid of that. So put the keepers in here. And then cotton candy cupcakes. We can get rid of that. See, some things they just think is good, but they never make. And I even have two copies of it, three copies of it. Don't know what happened. Probably was having problems with uh, four copies of it. Five. They must have been having problems with the printer, and they just kept them all. Coconut mug cake. I could see them making that. They don't need the calories, though. Gullah red rice. History project. Can get rid of that. This I wrote on and made directions, so... 
Oh, because we're trying to do three dozen pumpkin cupcakes. I think we'll get rid of that. This doesn't have, we don't even know what that is. Raspberry and apricot rugelache. I don't even know what that is. All right. So that feels good. Oh, this one, these are good. And then let's go through the big notes book. Pasta Alfredo we do, chili we do, pizza crust we do, dip, fajitas, saltines he does, cheesecake, black pepper, beef, and cabbage stir we do, southwest chicken casserole, eh, I don't think we're going to do that one, buffalo chicken casserole, I think that one my husband would like me to do. Buffalo chicken pizza. I feel like you want a buffalo pizza. Just put buffalo sauce on it. Chicken and shrimp gumbo. No, we don't do gumbo. Takeout lentil soup with garlic and cumin. We've done that. Gluten-free apple crisp. We do sheet pan shrimp scampi and broccoli. That one I'll keep. Carne asada. I feel like I already kept one, so when I find it, I'll get rid of one. Actually, it would be in this folder, best ever carne asada. So you want the one that says best ever, obviously. What I might do is keep the sweet ones in here. Maybe I didn't keep the carne asada. Okay. Okay, we'll keep it. Peanut butter smoothie, ginger glazed chicken. I don't think we ever made that. Vegetarian kale soup. I'm not gonna make that. Chala. We can get rid of that. Corn casserole. Corn muffin mix. I did make this once, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Homemade mac and cheese. I feel like I would use another recipe. Peanut butter blossoms. I, honestly, if it's another pumpkin cupcake, buttermilk pound cake, I mean, just get one off the internet, people. Raspberry jam. Like, if I think they're really going to miss this churros, then I will keep it. But otherwise, I'm just getting rid of them, man. Another how to make macaroons. How many of those do we need? Those. I already did that. Chunky monkey pancakes. That was from a long time ago. Flo's Special Hot Dog Relish. My husband will want that. Flo Dogs, a very famous here in Maine. Homemade bean and bacon soup. Haven't done that in forever. But easy soup. Keto pancakes and thank you. Thank you ice cream. Parmesan steak we do. Chili we do. Doing that today. Strawberry rhubarb pie we do, white chicken chili, definitely do. All that. What the heck? This is Alfredo sauce. Let me take out these that are empty so I can use them. Five minute microwave cornbread, chicken chili. I don't feel like I need that. Ravadosa. Ravadosa. Don't know what that is. El Pastor. Can't get rid of that. Non bread. Can't get rid of that. But my husband's not even supposed to eat pasta, so I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to save his life. Hummus vegetable wrap. Flourless pancakes. Vegan pumpkin spice latte. We love that. Vegan oatmeal. Definitely need to keep that. I'm always losing that one. White chicken crock pot enchiladas. Yeah. Creamy crock pot white chicken chili. Is this my recipe? No, it has corn in it. I've never done it corn. So I'm gonna put sweet over here. And savory goes in protectors in here. And let's see. 
This was kind of a roll, so I'll put the flatbread on the other side. My brain can't even begin to decide how to organize anything until I have decluttered it. And I watch those HGTV shows where they do the declutter and then they make this beautiful setup for the person and you feel like they must have ordered that stuff ahead of time but at the same time I'm thinking how do you know what you're going to need until you're done decluttering so I would love the behind the scenes of the creator and I wonder if that's something I could ask Clutterbug I mean she doesn't know me I'm just a fan like everybody else but to ask her to kind of go through the behind the scenes of the HGTV show that she did and explain to us how she planned it out in the background. I would love to know because if you're like me, you have to declutter before you can organize and you have to declutter before you even know what you're going to need for organization. Let me know if you're like this in the comment section below or are you able to completely plan ahead? All right, so I got some extra sheet protectors, which is very nice. So that when we get other recipes, I can put them in there. This didn't take too long. Hopefully no one gets mad at me of what I get rid of. <laughs> but you know what? Some, most of the time they're just like, oh, where's that recipe? And they can't find it, so they just go to the internet. Oh, and this, whoops, ah! Family recipes. Keeping this. This is what happened to me when I got rid of my um, recipe card box. I'm not quite sure what happened. I probably was using it for homeschooling <laughs> for flashcards or something, and then I ended up getting rid of it. Who knows? So I got my family recipes. I got the popular recipes. And then, oh no, there's more in here. Last minute chicken, pupusas. Okay. Everything else was sweet. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. I had just had a couple savory recipes in there by mistake. So I'm going to put that one was to get rid of, and this one was to get rid of. And so all of the sweet ones that the girls like are going to go in here. Actually, I think I like this folder better. It's a little bit more sturdy because this one's paper and the other one's plastic. So we're going to get rid of this one. This is where I'll put all the stuff we're getting rid of. And then all the sweet ones are going in the plastic folder. Just divide in two. Put them in here. Then I'll have to find a place in the pantry on the top shelf is where they'll end up going. That's where they were before. And I'll put the pupusas and the last minute chicken. Last minute chicken is like a dry rub, which is really yummy. Oh, and you do chicken thighs. I just leave out cilantro, but it has garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, or smoked paprika if you want that bacony taste. Uh, oregano, black pepper, salt, thighs, oil, cilantro, which I am one of those people who cilantro tastes like soap, so I never add cilantro. Cilantro's going down. I'm not eating it. Makes me very sad when I go to a Mexican restaurant and get the guacamole. <laughs> it's like, could I have it free? Okay. These are all the ones I decluttered, and this is what we're keeping. So this has the sweet in it. This has the meals that we commonly eat in it. And this is all the family recipes, which I do really want to go through and start sharing. Those are my parents. She said, the collection, this collection of Door family recipes comes from a collection, the collection of Leslie and Beverly Door. There may be a few favorites that went missing somewhere along the way, but most are here with the exception of the memorable things mom and dad made for us that required no recipe, just creative imagination. They always told us those items were, quote, special, like bananas, milk, and sugar. Floggers for lunch. I don't even know what that is. I gotta ask. Bread and gravy after the meat and potatoes were all eaten. Bread, butter, and sugar for dessert. Gross. Or biscuits and applesauce, which I also thought was gross. Uh, <laughs> we also used to, used to eat saltine crackers with butter, and sometimes my dad would put sugar on his saltine crackers and butter. Oh my. But yeah. 
So very special to have this, especially in the handwriting. This is my grandmother Dora's ice cream recipe, and I need to get an ice cream maker. This is my dad's handwriting. So it's beautiful and special. And then this was my grandmother's recipe, so there's a picture of her there. She's beautiful. Oh, and there was empty ones at the end. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so I can add to this. I think I noticed it and then forgot. So we'll be going back to this. I put the empty ones all here, and that really helped this to have plenty of space. So I feel better about this. I don't, before I thought, do I need to put it in a different notebook? But it is absolutely fine in this beautiful cover that my sister made for me. Now it's time for the cleaning motivation, and I am getting laundry going from the washer to the dryer and then I'll start a new load in the washer. On the day that we got our power back, I was planning to go to a laundromat and I don't have any cell phones so I can't even call to see if the laundromats are open. So it was a huge blessing to be able to do the wash in my own washing machine. Good news. The power came back this morning at four o'clock in the morning thereabout. I didn't know it yet because I was asleep. Actually, I'd, get, I'd gotten up to use the bathroom, and I don't know what time it was, but I remember thinking the house was warmer than it should be. So at about 6 o'clock, my husband woke me up and told me the power was back on. Yay! But we didn't have internet yet, so I went to Duncan to upload the video that you would have seen yesterday. It took three hours to get it to upload it, Duncan. Oh, so I'm glad to, when I got back, um, like 10 minutes after I got back, we got power back. I was still glad I went though, because, you know, if I wasn't starting to upload it till then, it would have been a while. So that still made me happy. So now I need to get the food up in the fridge. My husband I put what was in the coolers outside in the fridge. Since we were shutting our generator off at night, we will put the coolers outside. But whatever was left in there needs to be brought up. It's turned on down there now, so I didn't have to worry about anything spoiling. But I do have to make decisions on things that had gotten left in the refrigerator. Those probably had to be thrown out. And we still don't have cell service, so making phone calls is impossible. Texting is doable but hard, but I do have internet. Apparently something broke in two of our cell towers, which are the two that help us and give us our signal. So anyways, I'm getting this laundry folded. I'm doing tons of laundry. I want to get the house cleaned and wiped down. Everything just feels very dirty, if that makes sense. And then I did think about one decluttering project and if I can do that I'm going to put it here at the front so that those of you who love decluttering can see that and then if you don't want to watch the cleaning then you can click off but I hope you'll stick around and I hope it will motivate you so it's definitely going to help me just to start with a clean slate and get back to the daily projects. Next week we go to North Carolina for my son's wedding. Um, what is it? Today's Monday, right? Yeah, a week from, yeah, next week. Anyway, that's very exciting, even though I haven't even bought a dress yet, so I need to buy my dress. It's just gonna feel good to race around here, get it all clean, and start with a clean slate. I think I probably should just start at one end and work my way to the other end. I need to plug, well, maybe I'll start, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll start with the dishwasher because I had all that stuff from when I cleaned out the fridge when we lost power that went in there. And even though I was hand washing the dishes we were using daily, I left that stuff in the dishwasher. So that needs to come out. I'll keep the laundry flowing. It's not just my laundry. So we're going to get it all cleaned up, wiped down, so that I can continue with all of the painting and the spring cleaning and all the projects that I have going. There is load number one. 
basically the kitchen is main street in the house and so I always like to get that completely cleaned and organized as a top priority and then I had good news when I opened up the dishwasher I realized my husband had mostly emptied all of it he had gotten rid of or not gotten rid of but he had dried and put away all of the plastic Rubbermaids which was mostly what was filling that thing and so there was just a few little easy things left to do oh my heart and so anytime I hear the dryer click off I immediately go in and get things switched over because you know you got to let your servants keep on a going so my washer and dryer are pretty valuable servants so I was getting out Rachel's laundry here and just folding up things that were fold worthy throwing in all the undergarments and I was also running her sheets for her I just offered to do that since I was up and running around anyway and most of that was my laundry too so I'm throwing my laundry up on the washing machine that I can fold that later and then putting hers in her laundry basket then I just threw mine on my bed and I'll get that folded later when I have more of mine out and then I can switch over this load oh I'm realizing this was actually my load and then after that I threw in her sheets and pillowcases so that her bedding could be cleaned she usually does her laundry on Sunday that is her laundry day everybody has a laundry day my day is any day because I get up early so I can wash every day and they all have a day Leo has been really into this couch lately hi Leo good morning actually it's afternoon Leo's tired from the power outage, so he has Woozy stepping in to make sure that I do everything that I am supposed to do. <laughs> it's just so funny because when we had the kerosene heater on, obviously beside that heater is nice and hot, and so that was where Leo wanted to be. And he didn't get in anyone's lap the whole time we had the power outage. And he is usually in our lap after supper. He's in somebody's lap until he goes to bed. So that just shows he's using us for warmth because he had no reason to snuggle when we had the kerosene heater. So look, this was all I had left and this thing was chock full before. So I was thankful that my husband had done most of this for me and I just had a few easy pieces left to go.
it feels so good to be getting these rooms set back and back to normal again. If you're new to my channel, we are going to be doing a ton of things on this channel. We declutter, clean, I'm doing lots of refreshes throughout the house, DIYs, getting the house picture perfect, hopefully as close as I can get it, crafts, outdoor, we're going to be cleaning up the yard, planting flowers, making a bird sanctuary. So if that sounds great to you and you have yet to subscribe, then go ahead, click the subscribe button so that YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. If it doesn't land on your homepage, which it might not if it's been a while since you've watched one of my videos, like if you take a little break, but you can always click on subscriptions and see all the channels that you have subscribed to and you can see whatever the latest videos are that you might have missed. This is a positive community. We keep it real, very real, and we keep it positive. So I hope you decide to join in by clicking on that subscribe button. So the kitchen's good. Dishes are caught up. I'm running laundry, like laundry, 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 laundry. <laughs> there were definitely some towels hidden in some of my daughter's rooms. Got those out, doing some laundry for two daughters, just kind of running it for them, which is fine. I was noticing the kitchen cabinets looking kind of dirty. You know, just things get dripped down. You don't notice it when the lighting's not good. But as soon as you get your power back, then you start to notice it. What a gorgeous day, I have to say. Sunny, 60 degrees. <sighs> Of course, we had the eclipse. Did you see the eclipse? I didn't really see it. I saw that everything got really shadowy, but I didn't have the glasses, so I didn't look like at it, at it. I already have blind spots in my eyes. I don't need any more. <laughs> so I was a good girl, but it does feel good to get things caught up. I fizzled. It's like six o'clock now. I had to bring Yvonne to work and then came home and worked and then my husband came home. We delivered a car to Yvonne because when she gets out of work, she's going to go pick up her sister. Robin's going to go pick up my other daughter from work at 8 o'clock so that I can kind of keep working. And then he and I got some Chinese food in town, our town, really good Chinese place. That's fairly new. So that meant no dishes for us. And then Rachel is making some chicken and rice. And she'll have some cucumber with it for herself. She wasn't feeling too good today. Uh, so, I, you know, the bathrooms definitely still need to be cleaned. So I want to get to those if I can. I don't know how far I'll get. When I get too tired, I'm just going to stop. It's amazing how tired just life being different can make you. So I'm going to get these folded. And then I'd like to get the kitchen cabinets wiped down just because I'm kind of in the mood to go ahead and do that. So I will do it. Strike while my iron is hot. I have been struggling with just that feeling that my house is dirty everywhere. And it makes me very anxious. And then I kind of felt like giving up. Um... So I'm just telling you things that aren't important here. <laughs> That's why I'm talking over it. But I was glad I had this sweatshirt on. It says, remember your why. And it was kind of reminding me when I put it on. It's like, don't give up. Remember your why. Keep on going. The house will feel clean again. And then you'll get started on projects again. And you'll get back in the groove. I hate being knocked out of my groove. I had to stand up. Also, I forgot to tell you before, when the tree fell, the one that went behind the cars and hit Yvonne's car, Rachel was outside doing, getting out the refrigerator stuff into the coolers when that tree fell. She didn't see it fall all the way, but she heard it and it scared her to death. She thought there is a tree coming down on my head because she really was probably only 20 feet away from it. And you know how loud trees are when they come down. But then she turned at the very last second, saw where it dropped and it did dent Yvonne's car. And it looked like it had hit the back side of the other two cars. But when we looked out, we saw it was within like an inch of hitting them. Some of the branches kind of went a little bit underneath the car. But those two cars have zero damage. So we're very thankful for that. And there is a minor dent on Yvonne's car, but nothing that hinders it running, but already was having troubles. And she might not be fixing it. She might just be saving for another car because it's got a lot of issues. How good does this feel? I didn't fold these because they're going to get hung up anyway. 
I did fold that even though it's going to get hung up, but I kind of just get on a roll and I forget what I'm doing. Oh, no makeup is scary. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go get the um, kitchen cabinets wiped down and then maybe I'll get the energy to put all this away, but I probably won't put you through all that. I'll just show you it when it's done. So yeah, you can see here, it's a good example of the kind of stuff I'm talking about. It just creeps in. Before you know it, your cabinets are dirty. I hope this video really brought you some motivation and encouragement for your day and the projects that you're trying to get done or maybe even a little bit of relaxation as you watch me work. Tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit of everything. I'm going to do some decluttering in the basement. I'm going to do some yard work. I'm going to do some cleaning and I might even do some cooking. So if that interests you, make sure you come tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember as always that God loves you and I love you too and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.